All right, here we're going to look at a quick little example of finding distance between three points where the points are uh, located in three dimensions. So we've got the point 1, 3, negative 5, and then negative 4, 0, 7. So if we label these as x sub 1, y sub 1, z sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, and z sub 2, uh, the distance formula is going to be uh, the formula at the bottom. Again, it's just uh, what we normally do. I think a lot of people, uh, you know, hopefully you've seen the uh, distance formula in algebra. Um, and there you typically just deal with two dimensions. So you see just the formula x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. But now we have to add on the z components as well. All right, so we can do this, I think, without too much trouble. So we've got the square root. Let's see, we would do negative 4 minus 1 squared y2 uh, minus y1 would be 0 minus 3 squared. And then we would have 7 minus negative 5, or 7 plus 5 squared. So this is going to be negative 5 squared, which is 25. Uh, negative 3 squared is going to be positive 9. And then we'll have 12 squared, which is going to be 144. So let's see, if we add these together, I guess we get 34 and 144. And let's see, that's going to give us the square root of 178. So I guess you could always see if this uh, simplifies. I guess we can write 78 as 2 times, uh, well, 2 times 90 would be 180. So 2 times 89 should give us uh, 178. And 89, I do believe, is a prime number. Um, 3 certainly doesn't go into it. What else might go into it? Um, 7 definitely doesn't. Um, let's see, is there anything much bigger that could potentially work? Um, so 89 to me looks like it's prime. It's not going to factor anymore. We can't really take the square root of either of those two numbers. So I would simply say that the distance is the square root of 178.